We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, Madel all gone. Man, <laughs> hey, man, we got my favorite guy, man. This guy right here, man. This is the second time he's been on the show. I'm feeling real good about it too, man. This guy right here, man. Y'all know him from acting. You know him from singing. You know this guy here from being on Boss Talk from 101. Yes. Yeah, my boy Columbus Shorts in the building. What's up, Pop? What? Oh, triple, the triple, triple OG. Man, man, thank you so much, man. Let's crack it. Yeah, make sure you get up to that mic, right? Yeah, what it do? There it is. You hear it? 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 You hear but they don't walk. You know what I mean? I love you, Jamaican so, accent. Have you, got, have, you, have you acted a Jamaican part? No. No, well, I Not was. Yet. You, no, so, you know, you guys are from Atlanta. And right. when I uh, moved to Atlanta uh, in 2000, and, uh, I think it was like 14, 15, <clears throat> 14, I lived with Block, Big Block, Russell Spencer, Big okay, Block. Okay, okay. And he married Chris Kelly. You know, his wife, Chris uh -huh. Kelly, was big. She, he signed her. He moved her from Jamaica, mm -hmm. moved the family out here. I mean, out to Atlanta. Atlanta. Like, he just held it all the way down for them. You know what I'm saying? Chris Kelly's a wonderful artist. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? And living with them, they, that's my sis, like, period, point blank. Like, So you got to adopt the accent. Yeah, I, and her, from her dad and her brother and her mom and, like, every. You know Did you I mean? learn any recipes? Did you know uh, how no, to they cook? Don't tell, they don't tell you nothing. <laughs> They're not giving up nothing. <laughs> they like, want you to Chris, come back. Chris, Chris would make a Chris Kelly would make a punch, and she'd be like, "This the rum punch, the rum punch." I'm like, uh, I was just looking, trying to see. She's like, "Nope, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope." That punch will get that'll f you up uh, every time. Yeah. Man. Hey, so what, what's been going on, man, with the projects, man? What, what, we, what, what do we go, got to look forward? To? from man, Columbus let me, tell, let me let me tell you man God has been truly good <clears throat> um, I uh, out of my 15 years out of my 15 years being in the business I uh, finally got invited to Essence Fest Wow and, and it was awesome I heard the, it was awesome this year it was awesome and I got to like you know see my movie uh, with our people <clears throat> mm -hmm. and man I gotta tell you I, I, I like <clears throat> what movie was it it's called Remember Me I remember that. Uh, you talked about that on the last us, show. Yeah, let us right. see and, and let us see mm -hmm. and myself and Janet Hubert and Wendy Raquel Williams and uh, Vanessa Calloway. You How know, did everybody Vanessa, receive it? I mean, uh, what? How did everybody receive it? It was powerful. So like, at the we had a Q and A afterwards, and there was one lady at the last second. You know, it was all of us on the panel, <clears throat> and this was in the private room. She rose her hand, and they had, they're, they're, they're about to close out, and she goes. So what are we doing? So what now? What's next? I mean, like, what are we doing? Right? Where they're like, when is the movie coming out, Base? I thought that's what they meant, what she meant. Nope. What did she mean? What are we doing as a people? That's dope. Mm. That's dope. What are we doing next? Mm -hmm. How are we going to do this? How are we making wow. a change? And I was like, Phew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was like, Phew. Nobody had an answer. No, I mean, I had an answer. I said, we start with art. Dope. Dope I said, answer. we start with art because art has all, if you go back to the Nazis, uh, when um, Gerbils, <clears throat> uh, he was the, he sent out that propaganda and one of the biggest ways of propaganda that the Nazi party used was film. Mm -hmm. If you really know your history. Mm -hmm. Right? So the, so the propaganda, Gerbils was using film to propagate the agenda. Mm -hmm. So what is our agenda? Mm. What is our agenda? We need to, to unify. Come, right, come <clears throat> together as a people. We're not just us as a people, humanity. Right. Right? So, you know, the stories of slaves. I'm tired of hearing about these slaves. I'm tired. More slaves. Because I ain't going to slave to nothing. So why I want to watch slaves? And, you know, like, you know, there's a whole thing going on about bored apes right now. Like, 
why would I want to be a board ape when they've called me a nigger and called me a ape my whole life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make no sense mm-hmm. to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <clears throat> that's through through media. We can propagate an agenda that unifies the world. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, but I I may can't read it all, but I know this much. When you use film, television, and music, um, it's it's a <clears throat> it's a unifying language. It is, but I always say with film, I think we need to you know come out with because the society we we're in, just like we were talking about earlier. Um, TV tend to try to put whatever sells, and right now it's reality shows, and reality shows is showing a lot of the fights, the cat, the cussing, all of I that. I hate it. I hate it as well because that to me that's not unifying anybody. Mm-mm. So, creating film that actually showing love, showing unity, showing um, a household filled with a mom and dad, and how you know how to treat each other. Yes, you can show some arguments because it's reality. We are gonna argue. We are gonna you know, but showing coming back together at the end of the day. I agree. Because kids are watching this or adults are watching this and they don't know because a lot of people are raised in broken homes so they don't know how to to emulate a, a good household because they've never been in one. Oof, that's so deep. by seeing it on Fact. TV because we emulate what we see and what we hear. But but we were watching the Cosby show. Man. Right. Okay. Right. And I, I swear that was my mom and that was my dad. Exactly. Me too. Period. Same way. Same way. way. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, uh, you know I mean, but yet, then your hero, your guy, your dad, touching on doing. I, I mean, let's call a spade a spade. Right. This wasn't no 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 grand conspiracy. Cosby was touching uh, uh, young girls, taking right. advantage of them. Right. You know what I mean? Sprinkling them a little, bit, sprinkle, sprinkle. You feel me? But that didn't happen. That that didn't come out till later on. So as a child. <laughs> So as a child watching those things, <laughs> you didn't know that as a child. No. So that didn't but when actually. But I, I watched the documentary, right? Right. And I was like, let me see what, let me see what's going on. Bam. And when I turned up the documentary, I'm like, I was like, oh hell no! Like all these women. So why do I? My mom used to say, all your teachers can't be lying on you, Keith. Cause my middle name Keith. Yeah. So they were like, he talking in class, he cracking jokes, he's doing, he acting up. And then all my teachers used to call, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, my mom, all your teachers can't be lying, lying on you. I right. tell my kids that. that. She was, all your teachers can't be lying on you. All of them. Mm-hmm. I'll give you one, mm-hmm. but you ain't give all of them. All of them. <laughs> Everybody's saying the same damn thing about you. It's got to be some truth to it. That's you know what I'm saying? So, that's funny. <laughs> when I watched the documentary, I was like, and he was telling real stories, and then other people were chiming in. I was like, man. Mm-hmm. That's not, and that's and that's one of the things that I pride myself on in, in my career, that women feel comfortable working with me. You that's know what good. I mean? Like I never want to. I never. I was raised by women. I never wanted women to feel uncomfortable, even if we were doing something sexually, boom, in a scene or whatever. Like we're here to work. Yeah. You know what I mean, and I and I always made that clear. I you like the fact you're talking about that because one thing I've um I remember I wanted to ask you this last time I didn't get a chance to ask you, but. I've seen a lot of actors and actresses who, you know, co-host on the show and so forth. Always after the show, they always end up in a relationship, whether they're, they might be in another relationship somewhere around or whatever, but they always end up together somehow. How hard is it to keep your relationship professional being in a, being, you know, playing a, a role, role where you and that intimate. person might be, right? I, lo- I had to learn a real hard lesson early. A lot of people don't learn. I had to learn a real hard mm-hmm. lesson early that a lot of people don't learn. So, right. you know, when I was choreographing and di- creative directing for Britney Spears, you know what I mean, we we smashed. What? <laughs> you hit Britney? I smashed. <laughs> I, I once. Once. You, 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 exactly. So you like, hit Britney, like, like, we don't talk about body counts, I'm just saying. Damn, you know, she one of those know, girls. Yeah, like, 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 that, that kind of body. She got, that she got body, to feel you know what the motion. A lot of niggas say body. At least it was Britney. Britney Spears. Hey, bro, that's dope, bro. Like that, many people can't say that. No, so you, so, bodies, you like, yeah, so you didn't keep so it professional. Right, bro. So you know, once you yeah. went back, no, once you go black, you don't supposed to go back. No. <laughs> Y'all silly. Y'all. Ah, she went back. Why are you so silly? Dang. What? 
But this okay, ain't Britney, so, man. Yeah, yeah. So how do so you keep it saying. professional? So like, after right. that, I, if we're gonna be serious, it messed up a lot because my girlfriend right. was a dancer, mm-hmm. and that's why I, you know I was like low key cheated on my girlfriend with Britney. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Why? And I just on that Rome trip. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just saying it's because it's facts. Like, I'm tired man, of people. Y'all was like, young, like, man. Yeah, we was you was kids, young, man. Like, well, I'm thirty. I'm about to be forty next month. Like, but at the end of the day, they were young. Was kids, but so like, many times 19. I see it, though. I see it. That's his first scene. He got no. in there. Okay, but that was then. Was it so easier? How do you no, but it. I'm saying what, what? I learned a hard lesson. Don't shit where you eat. That's dope. That's the truth. So even if so you're, even I'm, if I I'm not when I'm doing a movie. So you are not gonna get caught up in that moment ever again. Hell no, I'm not. I. By what do you way, think about when you kissing them? Well, okay, let me tell you a secret story. <laughs> so me and Megan grew up together. Me and okay, Megan grew up, right? That. Correct. You said that, but mm-hmm. yeah, well, I had to take three shots of tequila. I remember her. you t- you said that. Yeah, I told you. That's real talk, and she did too, because we were. That's my sister. Like, but I'm out. Man, let's not lie. I, mean, I don't work some marriage. Some you couldn't even tell y'all was but imagine, drinking but on imagine the show. Imagine though. having a lead with somebody you that say what? you couldn't tell y'all was. You know, having drinks before the scene. We was in a bar. What you mean? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> exactly. They were. Exactly. I just thought about that. Exactly. Damn. That scene, yup. That you was where it happened at. Damn sure was. Y'all was dancing and everything. We was in a bar, but what you mean? Damn sure was. They didn't kiss <laughs> had, no more after they no. did it. No, nah, we didn't kiss no, no. more. Damn show did nope. One kiss. That's why. But we got nominated. Man, dope though, we, got, man. we got nominated for MTV Movie Awards Best Kiss 2008 <laughs> Movie Awards. Show wow. Did. Uh, That's crazy. But, but have you ever been in um, a scene where you were um, with an actress that you probably even admire, thought she was the bomb, and end up in a, what should I say, sexual scene? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, in real, you mean like uh, making making art and turn into life, or what are you talking about? Yeah, like okay, so you're in a scene and it, you had to, and you like her, not like her, like her, like that, but you think she's fine, whatever, and you're making love in the movie. How can you keep it where it's just okay? So that's a great question. Let me answer that. So the way I work as a direct, I'm, I'm like a very. Um, I, I'm not. I have to. I have the ability as an actor to create chemistry okay. with anybody. Okay. Right. I can create chemistry with anybody, but also there's. I'm also strategic about where the camera angles are. What's happening? What's we're lighting? Like boom. This is all choreography. Okay. This is not. You That's real. I mean? you know I'm saying we're not. You don't have time. I'm like. I'm not. I'm trying to fall in love with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do a scene, get the scene done, get on out of here. I'm trying to get home. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, let's knock this out. You know what I'm saying? When they say action, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you feel like I love you. you know That's your saying? job. That, that's my job. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, I'm going to touch on you right, love on you right. But then, boom, when we say cut, boom, I'm, I'm trying to get up out of here. That's <laughs> crazy you know though, man. But just to turn that off because you know they say You're your mind trying. and your heart is two different things, nah, and, and now you there's get in times the moment. I've never been. I've never fallen. Oh, well, that's a lie. Why? <laughs> <laughs> <One. laughs> yeah. Give us a story, guy. man. Okay, tell me who. <laughs> give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Or, or if you so don't want to say it took it took three seasons okay for Shonda Rhimes to give me a co-star I mean <laughs> like I love the interest I'm like man you got Guillermo out here smashing you got Darby out here smashing yeah, I mean everybody in IPO yeah, getting, 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 getting some cut except Harrison I'm like the f- you <laughs> Harrison gotta get some somewhere you gotta bleep that out <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, what in the... And finally she gave me one. And, you know, it was interesting how it, how it went down, but uh, her, I'm not going to say no names. But okay. She, 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 you know what I mean? She gave me one. Yeah. Okay. And then I was the right like, one. the right one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's real talk, man. She, you think like, it's because she made you wait that it was the right one? Because you know, I, waiting I is... No, I'm going to tell you, it was the first time I was ever in a scene where I was like, yo. I was like, yo, because I didn't want to meet 
uh, I'm very, uh, I'm a method actor. Mm -hmm. I remember you told so, me that. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't want to see her until I saw her. All right. And when so you I seen get, her, you like. I was like, okay, they killed me with this. <laughs> <laughs> you got me going to Amnesty International Man, meeting. Wow. Yeah. No, so we, you know, that I, I really did uh, garner a real relationship with her, and that's the kind of the only time. Yeah, you know, if I'm gonna keep it, a, to give you the keep it a bug. Yeah, yeah, because it's hard. Because I see it all the time, and I'm like, I know it's hard, but you know, it's possible because I know other people who have been in like leading roles and did scenes like that. And still went home to their, you know, wives or significant other and stuff like this. that, and you know, d not Sis, get peace. You got to realize if you're every day pretending. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I don't play gay roles, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't want to. That's not. I don't want to. be in that I world. Can't, I can't. I can't do that. Right. I'm not gay. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like some actors have the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't. So you know me what I mean? neither. Um, so, but when you create chemistry with a leading woman. And, it's, and you guys are, you know, the script is, you're going on a journey, not only a journey in the scriptural way. Emotional. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're going on a process on production. Mm -hmm. right? You guys, you know, you're on a movie set with somebody for three months. You got to, it's a grind, it's a war, it's a battle. And then, boom, you're actually creating this chemistry and this vibe um, that actually turned you, uh, you know, so that that is all, it's not... You know that's what happened with Mr. 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 and Mr. Smith. Right. You feel me? Like Angelina. Exactly. Angelina, that, exactly. That, that's the biggest one. Right. Yeah, yeah. But but and you know what I'm saying. But just because this is where you get in toxic relationships, because just because you do a movie and you guys are creating some chemistry, um, you know, it even goes down to friendships. You think some people are your friends uh, just because you made a movie with them for 68 days? They're not your friends. Right. You just created that chemistry. Exactly. So, and then last time we didn't get that much into um, your into mental illness, and I know you deal with that depression yeah. and all of that. And I know a lot of people out here, especially because of COVID and everything that people go through dealing with it. I love the fact that a lot of people are coming out talking about it. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people who still need healing. People mm -hmm. need to, because even after the show, you sat down with one of our co-hosts trying to talk to him and you know shout out Money still, Moses man he's yeah, still going hand. through and he's still going through this stuff this guy phone with me right. but um, I want to talk about where do you think that stemmed from the thing the way how you react the reacting to okay, okay. to different okay. situations because I know before you would always react in rage or you know oh, act right. out well, I, so I, where I, does I don't that know, stem I don't know from if you guys, did I say this on the last one like because I'm now it's, now it's once a week but before I was doing two times a week, mm -hmm. uh, therapy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was important. Me. So that's awesome. Me. So that means you're growing, you're getting better. Right. And it was not, you know, I'm not. I don't have, you know, I had to, I had to go get all my diagnosis right. Mm -hmm. Like I want to know what's wrong. I gotta get, I gotta get up under the hood. Right. right. You know what I'm saying, see what we're doing. So what was it? Where it started? Uh, I think child. You know, not think. It's childhood. You know, when you're, when you're raised in trauma, um, you know. Trauma, drama, uh, whether it's from your mama or anybody <laughs> else. Dude, something else. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I love this guy, man. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, you carry that into adulthood right. when it's unchecked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, you don't know what really anybody's going through. Mm -hmm. right? You don't know what they've People experienced. Hide. Abuse. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was never molested by a man, but you know I was I was molested m molested by a, uh, females, an older female mm -hmm. that was uh, babysitting me down yeah. there when I was a kid. So you know what I mean, over sexualized me. You know what I mean too soon. You know what I mean, <clears throat> but really my thing was anxiety and and anxiety and PTSD is tough. Yeah. And people like think that, that like PTSD got, is only like, from people who have been in the military, military or something like that. But no, war is war is war is war. Mm -hmm. Trauma is trauma is trauma is trauma. Where you got you see your man in battle get blown up, or you see your boy get shot in the street. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. We just don't got on uniforms. So you were reacting from all of that and just didn't know. Right. Uh, I mean. You know, I knew that I had my issues, but it was like, you know, like, let's get down to the bottom of it because I need to, I'm being called to a new level. Right. Right? So it's like, I have to make sure that I am equipped uh, mentally, 
physically, emotionally, spiritually for that next level. So how many years were you going through all of that before you started My whole finding life. no, before you started <laughs> finding help, before you start because you have to be the one who say I need help. Um, nobody else can say Nobody that. said I need help. I was like I need to talk to somebody that understands. Right. Because my well, my stories are not, my shares are like not regular. I, like I, I end up blowing the therapist's mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so you needed to get a therapist. It's like you, like the one, that guy that I met the first time I've ever seen you at the, at that Palladium Ballroom in Dallas, Texas, when you was angry as hell that night and you being the actor and just that who I thought you was, that didn't, I never seen you as an angry person till that night. Mm -hmm. I'm just being real when they mess with your money. You know, yeah. anybody gets oh, mad yeah. when you mess with my money. Right. But, but we wouldn't know. We seeing never you, we wouldn't know that. what caused you to act out. We didn't know. Right. We didn't know. No, no. So, so like, like just keep it a buck. Like, I, I, I was, I'm a gang member. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This guy's crazy, man. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So I grew up fighting. I fought right. white boys, black yeah. boys, bloods, crips, my own people. Like, you so know that's man? how you resolve your you issues. I mean, we, 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 we line it up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the only way I knew. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Line it up. Because if you ain't doing it right, we don't line it up. That, do, that makes sense, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I, I operate only by code. I wasn't just some wild maniac walking with the street. But I'm like... I'm about to be 40 September 19th. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm trying to do some amazing things for not only our people, but for Homo sapiens, for yes. Earth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, we can't be proud of, you know, as, at, a, at a certain point, everybody, everybody watching, you know what I mean? You can't be, uh, 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 what's the word? You can't be uh, uh, a victim to your past. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, just because you were grown up in the projects and you had to do this, you had to do that, change your, change your reality. Because you don't realize, and I was just saying no, somebody right. this 100%. earlier, I say you don't realize that everything that you go through and how you react to things, and yes, you push people away and you're angry and you just can't deal with anybody, you, as much as you don't talk it to your kids and tell them, they're watching your movements, and then all of a sudden, they start acting out and acting like that, and you don't want to pass down your trauma to your children. So if you don't, you have to it's create called breaking, It's called breaking generational curses. Yeah. Exactly. And, and that's what we're in the business of. I think our generation mm -hmm. is the one that's breaking it, right? Like, exactly. If you go back to like when J. Edgar, J. Edgar Hoover dropped crack in the hood, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When he dropped crack in the hood, psh, Broke up black families. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Dad's out here strung out. Mama's out here. Crack babies being born. You know what I'm saying? No. Well, it changed up the whole. He just, that changed up our ecosystem right mm -hmm. there. Bow, bow. You know what I mean? And we have a chance to change it. Um, I believe, I, I believe we should change it. And I, you know, and that's also, you know, I'm not being, trying to be too opinionated on this, but I'm saying these women on IG. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Uh -oh. like, Y'all got to like, Represent something. Cover up. Yeah. Damn. Dude, dude, represent Stop something. We got, it. If you got daughters. Yeah, what you training them so to do. So you're training daughters to be thotty? Yeah. That's what we're doing, thotty Tiana. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of them. Thotty Tiana. Thotty Tiana. But, but again, it's a generation. <laughs> You exactly but, right. But you, gotta think, but you gotta think about this. It's a generation that we're in, whereas they're, they're trying to make money. They're trying to get paid off of views and all of that. Not right? all of no, them. No, but listen, but listen. Not all of them. But listen, but what I'm saying is that. No. No. I'm not letting it slide. <laughs> no, hold on. I'm not hold letting on. it slide. No. You are not watching that person. You're watching the person that is showing all the skin and, and talking about it. And she getting flown to Dubai. And all and of she that. she getting flown to the yeah, person she's who taking is care of her family. Right, but the but person who is trying kid. to do all of the, what you the right things. No, the person who's trying Nothing. to do all the right things. You're not watching her. You're not giving her views. You're not right. trying to help oh, right. her. That's, you understand oh, what oh, I mean? I feel you on that. So, so right. Nobody's giving. No, that's, they're not So that's why they're switching. Even like with TV shows. Yeah. But even like with TV shows, reality shows sell because want, that's what everybody's watching. You want to flip it on it? Well, I'm going to flip it on okay, it. Okay, flip so it. The good, so all these chicks, who they, who they going and they messing with? NBA players, actors, celebrities, blah, 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 playboys, right? Okay. Like myself. Okay. Right? <laughs> Boom. Then what happens when uh, the, the UPS driver, that's, uh, uh, you know what I mean, just want to love you? Mm. Just want to just want to build a family with right. you? Right. They don't, you can't even, you, he, he not in the tax bracket. <laughs> he can't help me. He can't, he can't even do what, he ain't in the tax. 
This nigga, what about the nigga that managed Little Caesars? He can't get I mean, a chance. Do, I mean, the nigga that been managing Papa Do's for right. ten years got a little bit locked, got a little pension. He got the right type of girl. No, no, he don't. No, see, because no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so broke niggas can't cheat. Period. <laughs> <laughs> they can't though. It's broke true. Broke niggas can't cheat because. They do it all the time. It's over. It's over. No, they do it. They do it. It's over. They do it. It's over. Yeah, yeah. The sell, the, the be the selling point no, is I already out there. What y'all talking about? When you, when you, when you pay and you're a celebrity or you have some kind of stat, you get away. Look, 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 look at uh, uh. Yeah, you get away uh, with a lot of stuff. Wasn't but that, uh, wasn't that Cl- my, my girl Chloe? Chloe and uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, What's that boy name? Older. Lamar. Lamar. And, Lamar. And, and Lamar. And the other one. Oh, the one, the new, the, the new one. one. He got yeah. it too. He been back to back, <laughs> <laughs> back to back. The only one I seen really come out of that situation okay, and he really gone crazy. But he got it. Man, Kanye, money. Kanye. that's the only Kanye. one. He made he it out. out. <laughs> he the only one that made it out. That nigga did a spin move, and, and he's like, smooth ah, with it. He's still I'm kicking it. Line, he the, but he was crazy enough to go in there. You got to be on a certain mindset to go into that that whole family and come out like that. Well, I'm going to speak highly of them. And I'm gonna be real because Christian. But they build a brand. They no, they, build. Chris, I love you, Chris. If you see this, uh, Chris, Chloe, Kim, Courtney, Kylie, Kendall, all of them. Those are my girls. You know what I'm saying? Like they're uh, business gurus. Yeah, and they and they and they really all. And it starts from the matriarch, and she taught them how to make bread. Wow. So what did our mamas teach us? That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So how are we gonna talk? They we can't talk down. We can't say nothing. We can't talk down. Nothing. My mama didn't say teach me how to have a billion dollars by the right time I was twenty one. Man, mm-hmm. that's dope. Do you know what I mean? They did. She did her job. Do you know what I mean? So she like, did her job. She did her job. So you know, uh, but yeah, that, that you know, we grew up all in this like. Uh, it's interesting to see like we're all, uh, time how time flies like Megan Good and myself and. You know, Raven Simone and Kerry Washington. And no, no, I'm talking about the you. I'm okay. talking about yeah, Hollywood. Young okay. Hollywood when we was coming up together. Yeah, yeah. You know, Raven Simone, Lindsay Lohan, yeah. Paris Hilton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brittany, all the night. The, you know, we were the, we were the Hollywood, Hollywood kids. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and it's interesting, like, now we're, we're, we're grown. Now, what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. Now we have the ability to be to make life changing. I mean, earth changing. To give back. Uh, decisions. Oh uh, yeah, it's all. It's always always about giving back, and that's why I started my my NFT company. Mm-hmm. And it's important that we educate people in the NFTs. Right? It's growing. It's growing. It's coming. People are getting smarter. The space is bare. It's a bear market right now in the crypto space. But if people just trust, it was a, it was a big it was a big drop off after you left my show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Elon Musk came on the thing and said, what the hell? Yeah, Twitter. He went in there. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, it was a big drop. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to ask you something. What was that, and what was the drop? I, I, it, he just said it was like the, the, the crypto plump, like it went down. Okay, because I was telling the truth. So, boom, like Luna dropped. Boom, when Luna went down, people were trying to kill themselves. Yeah. It went crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Boom, Luna went down. And then um, and then this dude did this 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 ridiculous NFT project. And it was just ridiculous to me. You know what I'm saying? No real utilities. Yeah, and if I don't if I don't know if you, how much you guys know about what a utility is like. So for example, I'm dropping these orcas soon. Right. They're coming soon. Um, I wish I had I don't have my phone, but uh, mm-hmm. The, uh, they're like, you know, they have a utility chest and it opens and all your utilities. So what are we dropping through there? Movies, TV, music, music. Um, events, mm-hmm. right? Like, oh, you want to hear Boss Talk? We could drop y'all through there. Right. Boom, you know what I mean? Y'all want to boom, boom, boom. But now, so let's say, for example, uh, you guys are doing a Boss Talk, you know, for me. How many, how many listeners do you have? Let me just ask you that question. Uh, 60,000 60 How many? 60,000 60, 61,000 uh, It's steadily growing Yeah okay, okay So now let's say Let's say You said to your listeners mm, 
we're doing a big boss talk one on one. You're allowed to come to the event. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I'm giving you the play right now. That's what. That's exactly what it is. So it's two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Now let's say out of your sixty thousand, half of them engage thirty thousand. Let's say twenty five thousand. Right at two hundred and fifty thousand, twenty five thousand. Do the number. That's six point two five. That's right. Million. Right. Just We've been talking thousand. about that. That's what I'm saying. So when you start thinking outside, you know what I mean. But also, but putting money back in. It's not about just getting money. That's what the community is scared of when they're dealing with celebrities and uneducated people in the space. Yeah. Uh, is them um, just coming in, snatch and grab, boom, leave it. You know. What that I mean? happens a lot. And that's what they're doing. Cause ain't nothing, like you know what I mean. I don't want to drop names. I don't want to. No, it's happening. You know I, mean? but I know. I see it. It's doing obvious. It. So I'm trying to build an a ecosystem in which we can, we hold, and that's what, and we put our money back into the blockchain. Our blockchain continuously. It's like that. Um, like, have you ever seen those water fountains? Like, you're like those big water fountains. Yeah, the one like, we in yeah, front yeah, of Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, those big. Yeah, it's just recycled water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. That's right. It's They're not so wasting true. water. That's right. exactly. just recy- that is so They're true. recycling the same water. Right. It's just in the. It's just in the thing. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. I wanted to ask you something, and I, this is totally off base, but Will Smith came out since me and you had our oh. show. <laughs> And he apologized. And apologized. And I, 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 knew, I knew you had a problem. I, I knew. I, I said, man, Columbus don't it. like this. I'm just going to say it. My name is Will. But hold on. But did you know? Ridiculous. But did he you was know not that, with it. I knew you wasn't with it. But did you know that Tony um, Tony Rock said, not Tony, um, Chris Rock said, I don't want no apologies. He wasn't ready for he it. He wasn't ready for it. I got to say it in my Dave Chappelle voice. It's crazy. It was ridiculous. Do you believe him? You sound you just like him. <laughs> ridiculous. I saw him. I saw him. Will Smith, my hero. Independence Day. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. It messed you up. It messed me up. Did you nah. believe he was sincere with his apology? <laughs> Do you believe he was sincere with his apology? Oh, you think somebody coerced him into saying it? I think Will's lost. I don't know what's going on with him. He's been he's been through a lot. I don't know, like. It just was. It was a sad day for me. I know you was upset, and I wasn't upset. It no, was like, just, like I was just it like, dude, you I like, was like, damn, like, like, why you got it? You didn't have to. Like y'all got to do. Y'all got to. Mm-hmm. You could do a normal report. You could apologize and pride. Like now you. I want to say, you know. He stopped. Huh? <laughs> he stopped. I can't even he do stopped. it. I can't do it. You didn't want to do it. I can't do it. I can't do it's it. Like I just. I was so sad. Yeah. It was, was like, tough. Did you watch it? Uh, his apology. Yeah. Yes, I did. I think everybody watched. I felt it. And I felt I'm that, sorry for smacking no, you in your face. And the part that I felt the most, the part that the part that I felt the most is when you apologize to the guy that did the show, whose Oscar it was, and I really, I didn't yeah, mean to. Yeah, well, I don't but, know the guy's name. He said but it was, he was sorry was, to even his parents. He said, "I'm apologizing." Right. Oh, I didn't it, see it, the full apology. No, I you got, quit. I just you got the clips. I'm I just got that. I didn't shut it down. I'm not no, doing I didn't it. He said he apologized because it didn't only affect Chris Rock; it affect his. Mom, his brother, because he said he was in a good relationship with his brother. They were they were hey, awesome. Oh, relationship. Tony, 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 and Co- yeah, yeah. But Tony, my their boy, relationship so. is now done because of it. Yeah, but you I know? mean, you got when you smack somebody in, in public on an Oscar stage, uh, that's a relationship killer. I, I was doing. I think I've seen relationships end all over uh, yeah. spades. But okay. Will Smith, because of who he is, I've seen relationships end over Renick. So I think. <laughs> but because of Will Smith and who he is, there's always going to be a comeback from it. Yeah, you he can come back. I mean? He can come back, but he got to he got to disappear for a second. You think that's why he's been off social media for a while till this right, apology. You chill, bro. You got to chill. You got to chill right now, bro. I had to chill. Like mm. everybody goes through it. You know what I mean? But he just was bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? But now, but he went out the way. I would never walk on stage and smack some another black man in front of. The, Company. He was going through Do you through understand it. what I'm saying? I don't care. We, we we catch the fade outside in the backstage. We can catch the fade by the trailer. Line it up. Whatever. Because one of the questions that he answered. I'm not walking on stage and nobody. Because one of the questions he answered in this apology. Because what he was doing, he was actually answering some of the questions that people had. And one of the questions, because everybody felt like Jada sort of, you know, pushed him on there because of the look that she had on her face. But I, she I'm was so like, so sick and tired no. of Will and Jada right now. Let's bring him Jada, Jaden. It's time for Jaden. It's time for Willow. I'm, I need Jada and Will to, to sit up. down at STFU. Mm. 
And that's my opinion, and you heard it here first. I don't care what anybody think about it. <laughs> I want to go back to your um, counseling sessions because you didn't actually finish that statement because you said you were going through counseling. You reduced to once a week. So what have you learned about yourself during that time that you've been there, and what are you doing? Uh, that I used to live, I live in, I was living in a, uh, uh, I, I would always, I was living in a state of fear. I was f afraid of success. I was f afraid to, of letdown, afraid of disappointment, afraid, afraid, fear, fear, and fear, fear is crippling, mm -hmm. it would, it would, uh, unaddressed, unchecked. Right? Exactly. That you know, was a big thing. And, and how did you overcome it, or how are you uh, working to overcome mind, it? Mindfulness, right? Like mindfulness, you know, meditation is big. You know what I mean? Meditation is real, like quiet. You know, I do a body scan. You know, you got to take your time in the morning. You know, instead of first thing you're doing, getting on IG, mm -hmm. you might wake up and meditate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And really check in with yourself, check in with your body, check in with your mind, check in with your soul. Mm. And that's been, that's been, um, it's been invaluable. And, a valuable and skill set. is that how, because I know that a person who's always had, because everybody has anger issues in them, and it just takes somebody saying one thing to really pop off. So I, I'm serious. Oh, so no, no, exactly, no, no, no. People, people can't. That that's when you. That's, so how can you learn to no, regress that? Oh, you people got to start. They got to start eliminating triggers. I can't be. You know, I had to start. Once I start taking off triggers, nothing affects me. Like you can say whatever you want. I ain't tripping. But until you do something dirty, dirty, then then that nigga gonna come out, and they don't want that nigga. But <laughs> that's real. But. Uh, you know what I mean as far as like normal stuff you know what mm -hmm. I mean you know as a businessman as a, as a CEO um, uh, as a producer as a, as a leader uh, of men and women um, I have to I have to take it, that responsibility and it's the first time that I've actually had to like step into the position awesome you know what I mean and, and that like that with great um, um responsibility you mm -hmm. know what I mean? and, it, and it really uh accountability it, really you, it, it's like we ain't playing out here because you know all I mean? the things and, that people, you've been through you know it's not just about me though like it's a lot of people they don't want you, you know because I mean? people hold you at a certain esteem and that's what the people do for actors or musicians or whatever anybody on tv um when we grow up as kids and we're watching you, we hold you up here. Although people don't think about you as another human being, you make mistakes, you do this. No. They hold you up here. So when they see you do crazy stuff, right. it's sort of like, it, it crushes them. Right, but, but I don't do crazy things. <laughs> it just reported that way. I mean, I catch fakes. I've caught fakes, you know what I mean? So let me, uh, so since you say that. He's, he's a known, uh, uh, he, people have seen you they laid your career out before everybody, and and really, they and I'm being real. They they laid they looked at your career. You op you've been like an open book to us. Yeah. That you was honest with us. You yeah. you went through whatever you went openly. So they really couldn't come at him a certain way. So because no. he was an open you, book. But as you say that, because um we've had like some I never, friends. I, I do not beat women. That is, right. let's, let's check that off the list. <laughs> okay. I catch fades with. I catch fades if I have to catch a fade. Line it up when I have to line it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll bang, I'll cuss somebody out if I have to cuss them out. It's always for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's everybody that be the Karens. It's the Karens. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's, there's male Karens. I don't know what you call them, Kins. Kins. What we call them, Kins, <laughs> Mitchells, Mitches. <laughs> I don't know what you call a male Karen. Mm -hmm. That, oh, they gonna boom, bang, bang, bang. Then you bomb. And then, oh, oh why oh, you do it? Oh, he's out of control. <laughs> Somebody stop this guy. How many times you heard I, I'm going to sue you? I'm going to sue you. I haven't heard it. I just get, the, I just get served. <laughs> oh, you, just get served. <laughs> you don't hear it. You just get the paperwork. <laughs> so, so when, my, when Mike was on that airplane, he said that guy didn't sue him. Mike Tyson. When it, uh, oh, yeah. He let him make it. He let him make but it. But boy, Mike gave him some blows. <laughs> Well, Mike, See, like that. Mike is a chill dude. Mike, Mike would be hey, like, you know, the old Mike. You know, you might old Mike was up here. So you know, he's like, you know, from 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 you know what I'm saying. Like you know, Mike, like I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it like this. Now, new Mike is like. He smoked blunts. I mean, he oh, smoked yeah. shit. He yeah, smoked he's joints. He's going in. He's like, Yo, you know, come on, this is crazy when we don't look at it. <laughs> because 
you know, when we start from chill. the beginning, you know, like, you know, you they chill. come in that, they come in that, but don't think I won't fuck somebody up. Oh, he gets <laughs> his interviews be crazy. Like, he like, like, dude, you see like, them interview people? Like, I'm an older man, but I don't think Mike, Mike will fuck Mike you up. Mike check you in the interview. Have you seen his podcast? You've you been on it, Mike. Hell no. You fight but, Mike have you seen him do this? Like, he be like, no, because I don't. But you know, he told. I seen him do boozy like that. I seen him do. He I seen him do boozy. this. To, uh, he, but he checked, checked boozy. a few people. It wasn't no, just boozy. boozy. Yeah, he it's been a few of them. Yeah, I was checked too, but I'm saying. Nobody you fight Mike. Mike. You make it. No, but Mike is a, Mike a mil- he Mike made all his money back. Like not all of it. <laughs> but he made all his money back. He chill. He don't want to nobody. But if you come into his man, he's like, he'll I'm tell you. Fuck you up. Like, yeah, he like, would tell you. He's like Columbus. I, I I used to be a killer Columbus. These guys, these guys, all these guys around here, they, 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 they were praying to me. Yeah. I was like, wow. I was like, I was like this nigga Mike <laughs> like, Everybody like, like it. Everybody looking around. Like Mike is going in on his. He, I love his. I love his podcast. No, hot pot. Uh, hot I mean, po- it's, hot, it's it. Hot boxing. Hot boxing. Hot boxing is amazing. He uh, killed But listen, it. just like your podcast, like Boss Talk One Hundred One. You guys bringing in the um, bringing in the heat. Uh, you know, critical we, conversations. Oh, we having a good time uh, too. You know, critical conversations. About critical uh, points, yeah. Um, staying poignant, um, yeah. And, Being and, a voice and, and educating our community. You right. guys yeah. are the leaders of the space. Um, you know, we you just the common, the common everyday people. No, but but <laughs> but God is God. God is doing it. God, yeah. And I just pray that you know He keeps a hedge of protection around. I receive yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, man, you my uh, God, OC. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. you you motivated us to keep going a lot of because of the way you reach out and like you just embraced us. That's organic. Like we know you you give us confirmation. Yeah. It's certain ones that give us confirmation. Like we got to keep this thing going. You gotta and keep you one going. of those guys, bro. Listen, y'all, Boss Talk One Hundred and One, and just for you, I'm gonna sing. Ah, let's get it. So I, did, I, did a little, I wrote a country record. Okay. What? I don't have my guitar though. So Man. that's fine. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Am I a fool for loving? A fool for loving too, baby. I accepted all these empty invitations. When all I ever wanted was just you, baby. We can go round and round America Where we land, nobody knows but me and you Standing under sunlight We can go up and down, left and right As long as you and me tonight and forever So all that I'm asking you is what's a man to do? Hey, throw his hands up really high Tie a ribbon in the sky that I got you. So what's a man to do? Hey, I lay back in the shade. No, I got it made, cause I got you. So what's a man to do? a man to do. I can relate. I like that. That's it. I Tie a ribbon in. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> when is it coming out? Uh, we we busting we busting moves right now. So, when is it coming? It needs to hurry up and come out. Uh, we need to hurry up. You need to hurry up. So when is it, when is the project gonna be fully released? Do you really have a date? Or are you still uh, working on different nah, well, EPs? Well, well, there's I want there's, you know everything I do now I have to be binary and I'm doing a lot of things. Yeah. And when you do a lot of things, people get confused about mm-hmm. what's what. So I wanted you know Orca, my organization representing community association, the Orcas. Um, which the orcas which is organization representing mm-hmm. community association you know uh that a lot of these things are going to be birthed through that's what i thought club. you were probably going to do is put it on an ochre yep put it we're going to just start dropping stuff through or like snoop people don't know like snoop got records mm-hmm. you know what i mean that's so like, if they want to hear it they can't just go on any streaming platform they gotta be a part of the holder it. right you gotta be one of these mm-hmm. you gotta be one of these wow you see that Mm-hmm. You can show the camera. Mm-hmm. The orca's coming soon, baby. Isn't that what she, um? Isn't that what she told us about Snoop's song that they took them off of streaming platforms to put them in NFTs? Yes, yes. Yeah. that's what yeah. they yeah. did. That's what Cordell, did. yeah, right. yeah. That's exactly. And my project manager is the same project manager 
So, you know, you, you can't, uh, you don't want to um, reinvent the wheel. Right. Um, follow the ones that did it right. Trust the ones that do it right. Listen to your advisors. Um, even if you have a company and all, I'm saying this to all the young um, uh, entrepreneurs out there, build yourself a team that you can trust. Like, just because you're the entrepreneur, just because you're the CEO or whatever, listen to your, listen to your people. Uh, and you'll, you'll, you know, and have people, you know, the elder priestess, eldest priestesses, you know, those are the ones that'll get you up through there. One oh, thing what, I want to say, hold on, I want to, I've been wanting to ask, yeah, I've been wanting to ask this question because a fan last time, whenever we interviewed you, a fan reached out and was like, "You didn't ask about this." You know how I? Oh did. yeah, yeah. What? So, um, with, you did scandal. Yeah. And but you were let off of scandal. Why? Why did they let you off of scandal? Uh, well, it was weird because. They weren't going to fire me. I, we, we finished the season, season three. I was up. I was probably about to be making like, I was probably about to be making like half a million mm -hmm. to like seven fifty a week. Right. Um, but um, my ex-wife at the time, I kicked her out of my house. And uh, she waited, waited, waited. And then came up with some headline. She made this story up that I threatened to kill her and kill my daughter, which the bit was not was absolutely false. Wow. And so, but the the, the network, uh, ABC and Disney, um, they knew it wasn't true because they know my whole entire life. Right. You know what I mean? So, can't act like I. You know, that's not real. So, they was like, um, no more headlines. So, I uh, I dipped to Arizona. I like I wanted to get out the way. She went in there with her homegirl, tore up my house, did all this kind of crazy stuff, and then another headline came out. And Shonda was like, we just told you, we got you, but not one more headline, we're gonna have to let you go. Wow. And but that said, wasn't even you, down. that wasn't even you, I that mean, was that's them. How, that's how it went down. Wow, and you that's didn't even do anything. That's politics, kind of like whatever, you know. Yeah, because when I looked it up, it, it made everything seem like it was all you. Like, you just did this and you like, were out of you control. Ever seen, and like, I challenge all listeners, viewers, have you ever seen a face of a woman beat up and abused by Columbus Short? No. You could search, scour the internet. We ain't never seen it. But yet, I'm, I'm an wife, I'm an abuser. Mm. Don't you think these girls will be out here, boom, posting pictures immediately? Yeah. 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 What you mean? Oh, yeah, you see Rihanna you know pictures I mean? surface back up all the time on Chris. Right, like, all the time. It never goes away. Mm. They don't, it never goes playing. away. You know what I mean? You Which is shit if with it Evelyn, happened for like real. Evelyn, Evelyn with Chad Ocho Cinco lost yeah. his whole career. Yeah. Whole career. No, most definitely. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a game. Ray, where, where's Way? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People be losing their whole careers behind it. No, it's 100 percent true. But, but now, but now these girls, but now these girls know they got to knock that stuff off, man. Yeah. They don't realize what they're doing Stop when, lying they, on when you. they if, do. If you really get beat up, if you really get hit, all right. But I know people that are really abused. Like people, women be putting hands on paws on them. Yeah, they and go then, both and ways. Then they push it to the line, and then they got to get her off. You know what I mean? The dude yeah, gotta get her, get her get off her, of it. Yeah, and then boom. They, they, in a situation. Situation. they got caught up in a yeah, twist. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just that quick. Just that quick. But you know it's the same, those are the same women who use kids as pawns. Yes. To, you know what I mean? And oh, be like, you can't, you can't see this child. on this Because they want to be in that relationship with you. Your but they don't realize it hurts. Did you have money. your first marriage? You say what? Did you yeah, have children? He had a daughter. daughter. Every, I have a, I'm, from my first marriage, I got married when I was 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's Jalen. Uh, who's at USC film school And right now, now he has two boys with his and, wife. Yeah, my current wife right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Denzel and Liam. Yeah, and I, I see I, them. I'll be on my thing. Your kids are beautiful. Like, yeah, they're beautiful. Hey, man, yeah, love it, man. And, and then Ayala, you know, I have with my ex, the, mm -hmm. the ex-wife. So, boom, they use kids as pawns. Yes. And, you and know, I hate that. And it's, and it's, and it's unfortunate. Um, you know, I think, you know, once the time gets right and I get in a real bitter position I want to start a 501c3 that supports men's that wanted men that want to just be dads like why is it so difficult to be a dad that would be awesome like why it's do a we thing have, like why it's do we have to fight thing. to be a father because I don't want to be with you 
Yeah. Oh, just because I don't want to be with you, I'm a bad dad. And why do you have to lose so many years with your kid just because you want to be a good dad? Because I've heard I've heard men say, you know yeah, what? That's me. I don't. Yeah, that's him. Guy. He's like, I don't want to deal with this drama. So guess yeah. what? I'm, I'm going to step back. I left, I left my and daughter for like four or five years before right. she moved with me. It's, at 14, she came with me because her mother was basically. Uh, playing going through issues games right and I was oh, like I'm not going to deal with you that you know we don't got time yeah and, and I just know. went to work and but took you've care lost of so many years with but that child that. yeah and you it's going to take mean? it's going to take a reconciliation period and a reunification it right. period but I'm down to do that like you know I, I I had to literally stop thinking about my daughter because it was making me sick right. yeah I was missing her so I'm I've been missing her since she's two years old she's wow. 10 now you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying I haven't seen her in eight years damn wow but Jamie told me you know just wait just, just wait, wait. it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right they are, it's gonna they coming around that's what he me. always says he always say they you come, know when they get of age they where they can out. leave their mom and just reach out they're gonna reach out yeah because right. they know that that's that anger that they're spewing it the kid sees it they know it's there but they create a whole narrative and a whole memory of things that aren't right. true like think yeah. about it when you're two years old and, and you, you don't hurt rip, that child yeah you, you know you don't know what and they're hearing all this stuff from uh the parent, the other parent, that your dad just, or he's sick, or he's gone, or he or doesn't he want you. he chose other family over you. Yeah, oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. They use that. That's the yeah. game they play. Yeah. And it, and, it, and people don't realize it's like child abuse. Mm-hmm. It is. Because you're abusing a child mentally, mentally before right. they even can figure out their own thoughts. It's something about the way you raise your child. I, I seen something where Tyler Perry, he, he got a seven-year-old, and he will not talk to him about racism. Don't talk to him about it. Won't let him. And I, you, you, I don't agree because, with that. Because you live in this world to, where it's I don't agree, I don't agree but with that's that. what he. That's what he's. His that's big right now. He TMZ. doesn't want to scar that child and put premeditated things in the child. I don't agree with that either. No, he but you need to know to how out. people see you when you come outside. But exactly. he's feeling he like not right every person, but not every person who is a different color of you see you like that. No, but you need to know that that's out it's here. It's out here, right? And it's and it's it's called it's not racism. It's. It is racism because we are one race. Right. Homo sapiens are one, one race. One race. We are one race. Because when the sky crack open and, and, and the Zeta reticulans or, or the reptilian or whatever alien species want to come and be like, bong, we, we back. Yeah, I mean, we've been here, whatever is cracking. Everybody going to be looking around. You don't remember when Reagan said that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we all going to be looking around holding hands on Independence Day. figure it out, man. So, yeah, I mean, but we, you know, the, the, the being, being prejudiced and a, a bigot against someone for the color of their skin it's or crazy. their nationality, yeah. it's just ridiculous. It is. I've experienced it my whole life. But I, you know, and I, I saw it on the other side. Yeah. Because I travel the world. I got to go in a minute. Okay, right. so tell, tell me one more on. thing. And what? then. Okay, so upcoming films that you can talk about. Tell us what's coming up for you. Uh, I just finished, remem- I mean, Remember Me's coming out September on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Um, Remember Me, Me, Lettucey, Wendy Will Kill, uh, William, Janet Hubert, uh, Keith uh, Robinson, um, uh, uh, Old Silverstone, uh, Silverthroat, Keith, uh, OG Keith, it's Keith. Uh, um, who else in it? Um, Corbin Blue. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing cast. Vanessa, uh, 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 amazing cast. That's coming out. And then we got, uh, I just finished a movie called Life Without Hope, but I think we're going to, I don't know if it's, good. I don't know if it's, man, I just saw a scene yesterday. I was like, oh, this might be something. That's going to be uh, a hit. Yeah, something, something cracking with that. Uh, directed by Leo, written and directed by Leo Sullivan. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff cracking, coming down the pike. Hot. Listen, man, we love you. I can't you. talk about everything. I know, I know. That's yeah. why I said whatever you can talk about. What can I Short. talk about? I didn't, get, I didn't get briefed. Listen, bro. We I love, love you. you. So you know, no, I'm no, you no, no, man. You my I'm guy, not. and wherever I'm at, I'm looking for you, man. Hey, man, love Real you. Real talk, man. Every y'all. time it's a blessing, man. We out here in L.A. kicking it with Columbus Joy, man. Hey, hey man. I love Thank Boss you. Talk 101. I'm going to support them. And watch this. I, I, I copy this. A year from now, they're going to be one of the number one podcasts in the nation and the world. Let's wow. go. Awesome. We receive we it, man. receive it. Check I'll it. take that. Let's go. Take it, man. Claim hey, it. man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out. There we go.